Hello, this is Matthew Miller, live from a hotel room in Washington, D.C. So, I've got two devices here in front of me. I've got the Pharos Traveler 137 and the new AT&T HTC Pure. Both of these devices have the release version of Windows Mobile 6.5 loaded on them, and I'll be running through uh, some different aspects. To start off with, I'm going to take a look at the Windows Mobile or at the Win Windows Mobile Marketplace for Mobile application, which is their on-device store. And uh, then we'll look at some other aspects in other videos. So let me go ahead and uh, turn off the light here. And I have both devices. Just kind of wanted to show you um, what it looks like on uh, two different displays here. This one, is, as you can see on the uh, Pure, is, is brighter, whiter with a lighter or a smaller display. And I am actually signed into both accounts and what it will do it was it will recognize when I sign in with my Windows Live login it'll recognize what applications I've purchased on any device as long um, as I use that same login so it's good to see that applications are um, focused on the login so you have a universal login I also read that you are allowed one refund uh, within a 24-hour period, very similar to the Android market, uh, for one application per month. So you can't uh, load an application, get a refund, load it uh, two days later, get a refund. It's one uh, refund every month, I believe it says, and I'll put that in my review. So I'm going to go ahead and set aside the Pure for now, um, because they're both the same when we look at the uh, marketplace for mobile. So I'll set that aside, and we'll use the larger display on the... Uh, Traveler, Pharaoh's Traveler 137 to kind of show through, show you and run through the marketplace for mobile. Okay, so let's just see here. We'll start with, this is the main interface. Uh, when you first launch it, um, actually on these devices, when I first launched it, it had me download this specific marketplace app because the devices were shipped before the application was, uh, and the service was up and running on the Microsoft servers. I don't know if that'll be the case on your device. It may already have the application loaded um, on new devices. If not, it'll download it. Now, uh, the first thing you'll see is a sign-in and then accept their terms and, uh, and uh, specifications, which you can do. After that, this will be the screen you see. As you can see, there are some applications up top. Uh, there's only four shown. Go back. There is no scrolling right and left like I was thinking. Uh, up here is a search box so you can search for applications. You'll also see Showcase which I believe that developers pay a premium for that particular showcase offering. There will be most popular, what's new, categories, and my applications. So we'll go ahead and look at a few of those. And then uh, we also have the menu down here, so we're signing out and for help. And as the help, you can see there's online, the privacy policy, and about. If we go to the about, this was just updated. That's the latest version that I have. So let's just uh, work our way through this. We tap on showcase. Now we're going to see here, we've got a showcase of applications. Um, one thing I don't particularly like at this time is applications do not seem to be arranged in any sort of order. Um, much like the OV store, it's very random. They're not by alphabetical, they're not by developer, they're not by price, uh, and according to the ratings, they're not even by ratings. So I don't know how these are organized or if people pay more to be higher up in the list. If you tap over here, you can see there is a filter for paid, free, newest, so that may help uh, filter out the, the newest applications up top, and all. There are, however, no filters for price low to high, price high to low, uh, or organized by name, organized by developer, some things that I would like to see personally, but let's just go ahead and tap paid. And I'm on a uh, 3G connection with T-Mobile on this particular device. So there we see uh, paid applications in the showcase, this is. And if we tap here again, we look at the free, if there's any free applications in the showcase. And there are some, as you can see here. And then we'll just go to newest and see how that looks. And there we go, I guess it's, it is arranged by date. So then we go back to all, which is just kind of a random offering, okay? I'll run through these different uh, main categories first and then we'll go into looking at uh, details of applications. So most popular, now we'll see there's most popular apps. So 
I'm not sure how this uh, is rated, whether it's uh, the most downloaded, um, because it's not uh, highest rated. It's uh, most popular, which must be per the downloads of the application. Okay, same kind of filters with uh, paid and free and that kind of thing. And then if we look at what's new, this uh, probably should be the same filters what I saw on the... Oh, it will be different. These aren't necessarily showcased apps. These are just the what's new apps. And there you can see some of the uh, what's new apps. There are a few ratings because the store did launch earlier today. And then if we tap on categories, now when I did this earlier today, uh, I looked through all the categories um, and it has how many applications are in each category. There were, uh, when I launched it, 191 total applications available. Uh, 74 of those, or 39%, are actually games. Um, I see now that number is up to 78. So the number ha is, it looks like it is increasing. Um, as you can see as we scroll through here, games is by far the most popular um, application category. Let me tap on productivity. The most expensive application I found was actually, um, let's see, it wasn't in product productivity. Uh, 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 maybe it's in reference. Uh, it's, it's probably in business center. I think you may be a little bit surprised with the most expensive application that I found so far, um, which I don't think is applicable to these uh, to these latest Windows Mobile 6.5 devices. Looks like I'm going to have to just go to the search. So if I go to the search. This is the uh, Pharos keyboard. Maybe it's the SPB keyboard. I'm not quite sure. So, Microsoft Office Mobile. Oh, has dropped in price. When I first went on here earlier today, Microsoft Office Mobile was actually priced at $49.99. I now see it's $29.99. And I believe this is uh, for those who have Windows Mobile 6 and earlier devices, which is funny because. Uh, <laughs> Windows Mobile 6 devices, the store is not supposed to launch officially from Microsoft, although I did make a post where the cab is posted because this is not any kind of proprietary software or anything. Um, any Windows Mobile 6, 6.1, or 6.5 device should have that available. And then uh, lastly on these tabs is the My Applications. So you can see uh, if there was updates for the applications, any that are ready to install that I have downloaded, I can rate an application that I have installed and I can actually remove an app. So if we go there to remove, there's the new Windows Wait, and there we can see we can move the Netflix Manager, and I can actually rate that app. And if I was to tap on the app I wanted to rate, I could rate it there, title it, and type a review. Okay, I won't do that at this moment. Now let me go back to uh, an application and say I wanted to purchase an application. Let's just go back to the home. Uh, let's go to a showcase. I'll have to browse through here to see what most expensive is right now, but uh, it looks like right now it's $29.99. Uh, I've seen them range from free to $0.99, cents to $29.99. I, uh, I expect developers to get paid for their applications, and I think that's fair. I am seeing some uh, applications priced about the same as they were um, previous to the iPhone and everything to be $0.99. Cents. And I do see apps like uh, Twikini, which is a Twitter application. I purchased that for $4.99. Uh, just a couple weeks ago, which is no longer working. Uh, but I see like List Pro for $19.99. I would expect that application, while it is very functional and powerful, to be priced more along the lines of maybe a $6 or $7.99 or maybe a $9.99. But uh, I think the $19.99 and above prices are getting to be a little much for, um, for Windows Mobile devices and for devices in general. So let me look for a uh, okay, free one I don't have is Weatherbug. So let's tap on an application we want to purchase. Now if it's free, it'll give you some information uh, when it was released, version, um, any requirements that it has there, uh, any reviews you want to read, screenshots you'd like to view of the application. So if I tap on reviews, I see there's nine reviews. And then we can go, nobody actually left comments looks like, but mainly uh, stars. So if it's a free application, we just tap install and uh, be on our merry way. It'll actually install in the background so you can continue to browse the store. Now I haven't tried a paid app yet, uh, so let's go to something that's fairly cheap. We'll 
we'll see some of that process here. I won't do to Twikini because I've already paid for that application um, on the Windows mobile device and since you can sign in uh, it should be uh, available. Let's see, fake call. Just kind of seeing if there's an application that I... Asphalt 4 Elite could be a good game. Uno, I like I enjoy Uno. Let's tap on that. So now that we have a paid application, it still says install there, reviews and screenshots, and it says touch and audio. Most of them are touch. Let's just tap install and see what happens. Now I'm expecting some kind of confirmation screen. Uh, do I want to purchase it? Uh, maybe it'll just jump right in and there we go. Those are all old cards, but I guess you would tap it, uh, use the Visa card. So it's tied into your Windows Live account for making purchases on your device. And as you can see over here, you can bounce to home, search, and that kind of thing. So there's a look at Windows Marketplace for mobile, uh, for Windows mobile devices. It's nice to finally have an on-device store. And I have seen just in today the prices have uh, started to come down. Um, just from the original launch earlier today. I don't expect, as I said, uh, the developers get gypped and have to pay 99 cent apps. However, I would like it fair, and I think uh, some of them are, are aligning quite quite way well. Uh, Uno there I would have purchased, and maybe I will once I figure out which credit card is valid. So that's a look at Marketplace for mobile.